Okay, so we've done some of the basic adjustments. Let's go in to the color control, the HSL, uh, hue, uh, saturation, and luminance. We get the color, which is, is more detailed, and then grayscale. Um, so if we go over here, um, we've got hue. Hue allows us to change any color. If I want to make these yellows green, I can slide the yellow tone over to the green side, and they get kind of a weird lime green color, or I can make them orange. It's nifty if you've got some colors that aren't quite right. In nature photography, you're not going to do that quite often. We all, we'll bounce up the saturation on some point, and uh, you know those yellows are about right. These oranges could probably use a little bit more bump, might bring those out a little bit. But here's one I find in, in shots like this, I can really manipulate the colors to get what I'd like out of the image. So check this out. We're going to go up to the luminance, and I'm going to adjust a few things. The oranges here are underexposed. So if I go up here to the orange tone, if I darken it, it'll way underexpose them even more. But if I go the other direction, it makes them pop right there. You can go overboard. This is about being subtle. Take it up to the point where it's just about right, somewhere in there. Now, is there any reds in the image? Well, our histogram definitely shows that red is not a huge part, but they are there. And if we bring up those reds, we can see where they are as we move them around. Eh, there's not a whole lot of red. We definitely have yellow in the image. We can make our, our green just a little bit brighter. Now, here's where I like this tool a lot. If I get a shot where the sky isn't as blue as I'd like it, I can darken the blue. Now you can go way overboard and you add a lot of noise, but if you're very subtle about it, you can bring in a little bit more blue sky than really was there, especially to this day. It was kind of a, a nasty day, and we can go to there. So neat controls here. If we go to color, you're controlling each single color at a time. Grayscale is if we were in a Blake grayscale image or a black and white image, now we're going to control every tone to make it either lighter or darker. So we know all these down here are yellow. If we know that's yellow, we can move it to the dark side and make those yellows very dark or very, very bright. Nifty control panel. And anytime you're in Lightroom, if you see this option box, you can turn on and off your settings. You know, that definitely improves the image, makes it pop. And I like that. So let's go down a little bit farther. Let's go down to the detail. Detail, anytime you make an adjustment in the detail panel here, you have to have the image at 100%. So we're going to hide this uh, side panel after going to a 1 to 100% view. We can bring it down. I want to find somewhere with some nice detail. All right, so amount, basically the best way to look at using the sharpening tool here is to know that if you hold the Alt key, and then start moving any one of these sliders, the image is going to change. Check this out. I just clicked on the amount, and I'm going to slide it around. I'm going to go all the way to the top. And you can see it gets really, it almost looks like a painting. I mean, we're way into the warning side. We can take this up. Radius is going to determine how much of the edges, and where are we going to take those edges, how much of the edges are going to be sharpened. Go really high, you're going to get big halos. Go really light, it's going to be nice and smooth. So you can bring those down. Um, you can go up. Depends on your your uh, preference. Detail is again going to see where are are those edges. How much of the edges? Where is all this sharpening going to take place? Very handy tool. So we can bring this up kind of high on a landscape shot. And here's the one I probably use the most, depending on the type of photography. I don't want to sharpen the sky at all. I'd like my mountain sharpened. I'd like my trees sharpened. So by holding the Alt key, or the Option key in Windows, or in a Mac, I should say, you can click the mask. Anything that's white, it's gonna, everything that's white in the image is going to have sharpening applied. So if I bring this all the way over, only the very edges of the image, the very sharpest edges, are going to get sharpened. Well, I'd like some things to be sharpened, but I know the sky is up here. So if I let go of the Alt key, and I have my hand tool up there so I can drag my image around, and if I look up there, if I hold my Alt key again, go to the masking, see we got lots of black in there. If I go just off to the side, somewhere in there would be a good sharpening amount. And then what I always do is I'll check it on and off. And then remember, we're at a 1 to 1 ratio. If we go up to 3 to 1, I've got some 
funky stuff going on in my image from the sharpening. Well, this is where the lens correction options come in. So uh, we get down here, and if we move down, we've got a noise reduction. We can move that luminance and the color, but here's where we got lens correction. So we're gonna we definitely have a uh, a cyan tone there. We move this off to the side, it disappears. You can see we have definitely the lens that I was using on this camera definitely has some issues on high contrast points. So I want to get it where it's just right. You can see now this has like a blue tone to it, so we can bring down the blue as well. I want to find a point where it looks just about right. And then check this out. We turn it on, turn it off, right up here. You know, that's what it looked like. Sharpness, it should really pop now that we've got things adjusted. So out here, you're really not going to see it at the at the original scale. We go to one to one. You now we can see, does this really add sharpness to the image? Yeah, definitely. So it's a good tool. It's a good um, input sharpening. And uh, you will do output sharpening when you export. So a nifty tools there. Oh, we hit everything there. So uh, one other option that I use quite often down here is vignettes. Depending on the camera, let me zoom back to a, depending on the lens, I should say, sometimes my corners, depending on where I'm zoomed at, are going to be just a little bit darker than I'd like. And right here in the amount of the vignette, I can brighten my corners. You can also darken them. You make an old-timey picture. This would be a good combination if you wanted to do something uh, with the presets. So that's what we're going to talk about next. We're going to use some presets on some settings that we do all the time. But right here, I can adjust my corners. The other thing that's nice here with the vignette, control the midpoint. Where is it bright? Where is it dark? Got a lot more options right down here. So I'm just going to take this up just a little bit, bring this back to 50, type that in. And there is our basic adjustments. All right, so I'll see you in the next video when we talk about 